Hello once again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here with another episode of FTL on board the VSS Treason. Excellent. Now, we've been going pretty well so far. We've managed to get up to Sector 6 with a fairly impressive arsenal of free gear. We now have a stealth system, we have a fairly powerful uh, ship so far, and we're ready to wreak some more havoc. So, let's go. We're in the Kestrel Type B, of course, explaining our orange and blue treble, 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 rebel color goodness, rebel color scheme, and a nearby space station hails us, saying, Greetings, our arrival is most fortuitous. They recently came across extra drones, but we don't need extra drones, so we're going to reject their offer. You fools, if you want me to help you, you have to give me something I want. Alright, let's work our way forward. We need more money, that's what we need. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station, which may be a storage vessel for military goods. We can attack them, we can try and cloak past them. Now, I'm tempted to just try and fight them, because we can cloak past them and access the cache, but if we fight them, we'll get whatever's in the cache anyway, and we'll get the scrap for destroying the ship. So I mean, we may as well try it. I, I, I don't really know how this works, <laughs> but uh, this is one of those things. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you cloak it. But we're just going to fight them anyway. We've got nice, powerful stealth shields. So do they, but so do we. So, we should be okay should, being the operative word. We're going to wait till they fire some of those weapons, and now dodge the rockets, because I don't want to get hit by those. We're going to ion bomb out their shields pretty soon after we come back online. We're also going to blast them with these, because we might as well, honestly. Since we have stealth weapons, we don't get a penalty for firing while cloaked. And we missed like crazy. Well, that wasn't so good. Should do it again, but better, folks. Alright. Blast out their shields, now hit them. Thank you, that's more like it. Hit them again, or we'll turn off our ion bomb, hit them again with the basic laser. Or... Now they're cloaked, so we're going to take a rocket to the face in a second. We won't be able to cloak again fast enough to block it. Unless they're firing until they come out of cloak, which could give us time to power up our cloak. That's a weird glitch there. Oh yeah, they're waiting for us. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with that. Cloak. <laughs> Two can play at that game, folks. Alright, blast them through their shields, that's probably a stupid move. Ion bomb out the shields again. Take those down. Oh, that was the weapons I hit. Whoops. Man, I am all over the place as far as not hitting what I'm supposed to. Okay. Ion bombs. I'm having a hard time using you today. Hit them directly in the shields. Not bad, but we really need to ion bomb out those shields. Otherwise, we won't be doing much, and we miss. Of course we do. We're going to be getting low on bombs or missiles in a minute. And that's going to have a hard time on our fighting strategy, because it's really quite reliant on these ion bombs. Ooh, their weapons are a lot back online now, too. We could be in trouble here. Let's turn these back off. Dodge those attacks. Very nice. Ion bomb should hit the shields this time, and we can actually do some damage. Alright, hopefully we won't mess this one up. There we go. No, destroy those shields, guys. No quarter. There we go, that's more like it. Now we redirect some of our fire to weapons. Two of our shots hit weapons now instead. And they dodge two of our shots, of course they do. Alright, well they're going to do the same thing they did last time, I suspect. Fully charge up their weapon, blast them with all of them as soon as they come back online. Unfortunately that will not give us time to power our shield, our cloak again. Or so I suspect. Yes, there it goes. And we're going to take a hit at least from one of those. Nope, nothing hit! We fired another cloak. It's the last iron bomb I can afford to spend on this fight. We probably could have gotten away without using it either, but... Such is the cost of battle. Dodge some more shots. Kill our enemy. Alright, that was a bad fight for us. Bad, bad, bad. We salvaged 48 from the broken scrap. This is what I was, that was what I was talking about. If we had just bypassed the ship, we wouldn't have gotten that 48 scrap. We also probably wouldn't have wasted those 4 or 5 missiles, but you know, I guess you take what you get. So we'll investigate the station and find... 28 scrap and a defense drone mark II. Very nice. We can sell those goodies anytime. That's definitely worth some money. Funny thing is, this defense drone is actually useless. Since it targets lasers as well as missiles, it's useless to you because it doesn't specifically target the missiles, which are the things that are dangerous when you have high level shields. So really, defense drone mark II are less good than defense drone mark ones, and they cost a lot more power. Twice as much, in fact. So there's really no reason to ever use them. But, you know what, I guess that's just how it works. Let's jump to the store and sell off some of this junk. 
Alright. Well, some of this junk I say I have one thing to sell. The NG ship hails, saying their engine upgrade is necessary for traveling home. Alright, well, we can sell you some stuff. It's not going to help you at all, but it'll help us plenty. Sell the defense drone for 37 scrap. Bam! Free money. Anything good in here? They have a shield charge booster. That would be quite nice. That would fill up our last augmentation slot, but I think that would be worth it. Having faster charging shields is always nice. So let's spend the money we just got, and a little bit more, on getting that shield charge booster. We'll also buy some repairs, because we need them. Ah, I wanted to be able to buy some more weapon upgrades, but I need this stuff too. Gotta buy the fuel. I'm tempted to buy the missiles too, but hopefully I can get by without having to spend money on those. If I can get my big laser online, that'd help. So if, let's see, if we have to upgrade to get that thing online, it would need we need at least two upgrades for a weapon control for it to be worthwhile for us to use it. My reasoning for that is we want to have at least one different laser that we can target a different room with. We still want to have a little bit, at least a variety, in what we can target. Let's try it. You know what? Screw that. Let's just upgrade this weapon system. Upgrade the power bar to use it. We're going to change our weapons completely around, add our burst laser in here with our ion bomb, take all of our basic lasers off of the system. We're not going to sell them, because we may be able to put two of them at least back on later. We should be able to run it with this. If we put the burst laser in there, there we go. Alright, we have two 19 second charge weapons, which should go considerably faster since we have the uh, bonus from Fox here, which gives us 19% faster charge, and now we have our augment automated reloader, which gives us 15% more, so we have 30% faster charge. Pretty darn good, more or less anyway. These should be able to fire quite fast. And as long as these hit their targets, we should have a pretty powerful weapon in our hands now. So, uh, another store right there. Let's uh, let's explore a little bit more and see if we can't make some money. Or make some weapons or something. Get some good stuff. We arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. The teleporter signal was detected with an intruder back on deck. Hello again, Mantis. I just saw you. I want money, so I'm going to sell them again. We agree to offer up the Mantis in exchange for a bounty. And, uh... The young mantis jerks to attention and assumes battle stance. It was a trap. So it sounds like it was a trap either way, and at least this way we didn't get them to betray us first. They have two tier 1 drones, so it's a good thing we don't have any missiles. We are going to send Jack over to fight him manually. Excellent. See how he's doing in that fight? He's actually losing that fight. That's okay though, we're going to charge up our stuff. They have a lot of weapons on board ship, but that's okay, because we're going to hopefully dodge most of them in a second. That was probably a pr uh, dodge a little bit early, but that's okay. Now you are going to run to the oxygen bay, and we're going to open this door to flood him out. Now we have all our weapons charged, so we're going to hit their shields with a ion bomb, and then immediately afterwards with our burst laser Mark III. Ha ha! You'll regret everything you've ever done. They're hitting our radar, but they should die before that happens because of the nice oxygen deprivation we're doing. We can hit them again with a burst laser. We may want to actually hit their weapons, but... No, we're going to hit them in the shields. That looks like more fun. So hit them again. And down goes one of the mantises. They have one left. He is now no longer on the helm. We have lost one level of radar. Oh, that door closed. No, I want to suffocate him out. That's no good. They are missing like crazy. He's going to suffocate in a second. We can burst out their shields completely, which should kill their last remaining mantis. Or just the ship as a whole. Either is good. That's a weird color. There we go. The ship explodes, giving us two missiles, a drone part, and 43 scrap. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely not the best thing we've got so far, but definitely not a problem. Alright, you get in there, you repair that thing. We want all our systems online. Now do we have enough money? Not quite enough money to buy another one. <laughs> one dollar short. One scrap. Well, poop. That's okay, though. That's okay. We will get it soon, and we can have another weapon online. Let's jump ahead. Well done. What's over here? An NG construction yard. There's nothing interesting going on. Most NGs maintain their bipedal appearance out of habit, but here you see a number of NG hives working together to create a massive organic machine adept at building ships. Truly a sight to behold. That would be crazy if they just sort of come apart and form it into a new creature. They're like transformers, except also people. Crazy. Nano transformers? We arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid them. We will respond, of course, but we don't know if we can actually help them. He says, great, I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late, as always. 
They want drone parts delivered nearby. We'll, we'll accept the offer. They offer us five drone parts and no tip. Like he says, he will offer every time, but he never actually gives it to us. We can't make it over there, so we're going to have to keep them and hopefully find someone to sell them to soon. Because they don't do me any good. All right. They want to trade one fuel for five missiles. Uh, that might honestly be a good deal. This sector offers a gray market shipwrights offer. Mm, let's take it. One fuel for five missiles. The fuel's valuable, but five missiles is also going to be quite valuable. There's a store here, too. We could buy more fuel there, I suppose. No, let's just jump on. Hopefully we'll be able to find more fuel before we need it. We're getting close to the end, anyway. The complex arrangement of ship hulls and FTL drive capacitors floating abandoned in space suggests the energy were here not too long ago, but no longer. We're finding nothing here. This is empty, literally empty space. Alright, we should have at least two more jumps here left in our sector. What do we have over here? Something that'll hopefully give us some money. Ah, nope, we're buying fuel from them. Alright, we'll buy six fuel from 12 scrap from this refueling station. We need money! You're not giving us any! <laughs> Come on. What is this? Give me money. We have a long-range beacon which offers some free scrap. Okay, there's an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. Quickly scanning them shows no life forms, but we do get a drone schematic and 32 scrap. Something we can sell and something we can immediately use. So we'll upgrade this again, which should let us throw... I should just keep these basic lasers on there. There's no reason to not have them. We can upgrade... Oh, not quite. We need more power, so we'll take power out of the engine to power our basic laser. And now we have three weapons. This one only shoots once, but it'll work nice in combination with our others. Alright. I guess now we jump onwards. Jump to the next sector, which will be our rebel-controlled or mantis-controlled sectors. Rebel or mantis? Rebel or mantis? This mantis is going to have a lot of borders, so let's go to the rebel-controlled sector. Alright. The sector was bustling with activity just a few years ago. Now, more than half the jump beacons have been destroyed. Many settlements have been abandoned, and the rebels patrol constantly. Jump beacons don't look destroyed. There's almost more here than there have been in most of the other places we've been. But I'll take your word on it. Let's jump to this place and see if we can't get some money. We're getting close to the end here. If we want those level 4 shields, which we do want, more weapons, which we also do want, we're going to be hard-pressed to get them. We arrive in an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed. Prepare for a fight. They have a cloak, but they also have no shields. So once that cloak is down, they're going to be taking a beating. We should be able to dodge their attacks pretty easily. They look also like they're charging up for a Mega Blast, which is the easiest thing to dodge. As soon as they come online, we just go cloaking ourselves. Like so. Everything misses, and there's nothing they can do about it. Let's basic laser their weapons quickly there. We don't need to use our Ion Bomb at all in this fight. We're going to Burst Laser Mark three their weapons as well. We'll basic laser the cloaking device. Oh, that was a lot of misses there on that Burst Laser Mark three. That was terrible. That was actually terrible. Okay, their helm is now completely destroyed, their shields are... their cloak is damaged, so they won't be able to stay cloaked for long. Well, as long, anyway. Probably 10 seconds instead of 15. And we should be able to hit them pretty good with this Nest Burst Laser Mark III, because they don't have any ability to dodge anymore. Down you go. There we go. Alright. Looking good. Ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, a drone part, and 48 scrap. Not bad. How much more scrap do we need to upgrade again? I'll we'll have to jump ahead and see. After our next fight, undoubtedly. What's over here, folks? A populated sector with a merchant asking for help. Is he going to ask me to deliver his drone parts again? No. Our ship seems reasonably well equipped, he says. A freighter carrying a shipment of goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and he fears for their safety. Or rather, their cargo's safety. He's looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate? Well, since you flatter us. Sure. Let's accept. He says at least we're confident for what little that's worth. He gives us their last loan location, and moves on. And they're way over in the corner. That's not a convenient place for us to go, but, eh, you know, well, I guess I can't complain. It takes 90 for another one of those. That's a fairly expensive thing. Buy another fuel cell to power our engines back up, and I guess we jump onwards. We could go through the nebula. That would make it pretty easy to get over there with time to spare to get back. So let's try that. Hopefully there's no ion storms here, because that would suck. Oh, it's worrying the rebels have penetrated so deep into uncharted space, even if it's only an unmanned craft. It arms weapons, but that's okay, because we also have our arm weapons ready to go. This one does have shields, though, so it won't be quite as easy to kill as the last one. Hmm. Well, he's arming up for a super blast, but that's okay because we're well equipped again to deal with super blasts. Bring it. And you miss everything you fire at me because you suck. 
Alright, we'll ion bomb their shields, and then we will hit them with a whole pile of hurt. Alright. Ion bomb is armed. And misses. Fantastic. Well, we'll hit them in the shield with the burst laser anyway. Just for good measure. And we miss a lot of those shots too. Hit them again. Ah, too slow. If I'd fired that basic laser a little bit sooner, we probably would have been able to get all of those shots in there, and that would have been quite nice. But, that was not the case. This is going to hit. This is going to hit us quite hard, I suspect. Unless we can manage to block at least some of it, or dodge it all. If we can get really lucky and have this charge up. Which we can! <laughs> I hope you weren't planning on hitting us there. No, that was a waste. I forget these things are on auto-fire sometimes. Pow, 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 pow. And we missed like crazy again. Okay, hit them. There we go. Now that thing's broken. Next burst laser shot is taking out their weapons for good. Next basic laser is going to hit them in the cloak. So they can't do the same thing we just did to them. At least not as well. Oh, and we missed. Because we're fools. Alright, now here comes their... <laughs> this is just trading cloaks here, honestly. We cloak, they cloak. We cloak, they cloak. I guess it's because cloak isn't time-dependent like their weapons have been. <laughs> and we can trade cloaks again in a second, because by the time they fire, ours will be ready. Boop! Cloaked! And we missed literally every shot we fired. That was terrible. Okay, hit their cloaks. They can't do that same thing again. We'll hit them in the mm, helm, I guess, to destroy their ability to dodge so much. And now we pummel their weapons. Don't miss so much, Mark III. Man, you are terrible aiming. You are terrible at aiming. Okay. Now they're cloaked. They can only cloak for 10 seconds, though, and they only have one weapon, so I don't have to worry about cloaking in retaliation anymore. They can't do anything about us anyway. And our next sal salvo of shots should kill them nonetheless. Basic laser should take out the helm, meaning the next shots all hit, and the burst laser should kill them. Like it does. Very nice. No damage taken. The ship explodes, giving us two fuel, a drone part, and 56 scrap. Now we're making money. Alright, now we jump to this nebula. <laughs> Slowly working our way towards our quest beacon. All right, there. There appear to be a number of small stations nearby. Before we have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleporter was used in one of the stations, and we have been boarded. Where are they? <laughs> They're in the health room. That's great. Okay, attack them in the health room. Don't know where else they are, but let's attack them in the health room. Also, let's suffocate those people who are out there. Because that's always fun. All right, they're still trying to get out of here for some reason, despite the fact that I'm killing them in the same room. Now they have more people in there, I guess we should send some backup in. And probably turn off the asphyxiation in there. Alright, punch them to death. He's gone into the other room, so we're going to have to get him back in here in a second, so let's suffocate him out of there. That should do the job. They're all going to die. Let's let him in, I guess. Nope, he doesn't want to come in here anymore. He must want to suffocate. That's okay, I'm cool with that. We can chill out in here while he suffocates to death. No, he's not suffocating to death. Okay. We're going to send our two mantises in to finish the job. We'll close those doors. And kill that guy. Oh, they took one hit. Alright, Jack, back to your standard position. Back to your standard position, Magne. Sorry, man, you had a little bit of damage there, but you're okay. And overall, I'd say that was a successful little murder spree. Successful little murder spree. Okay. Let's jump forwards and head towards that quest beacon. We can't go quite there, but that's okay. We can get to this distress beacon and see what they have to say. We arrive at the location of the distress call, and a civilian ship hails us asking for locations to their next destination. Sure, we say. We'll help you. They give us 37 scrap and a quest marker. Alright, NGs, I hope you're not trying to betray us, too. Seems like everyone we offer to help winds up trying to backstab us moments later. Now we can upgrade... BAM! Weapons once more time. We get another basic laser online. Fantastic. Alright, now we have a pretty nice arsenal. A pretty nice arsenal. And a good cloak, good shields. One more shield there would be nice, but I'm not sure if we can quite get that leveled up in time. Let's see if we can't get all these quest beacons, too, though. That might help quite a bit. Alright, we arrive at the location of the merchant's delivery. We scan for their ship. It's a severely damaged ship floating among some debris. The crew hails us, saying, I can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us! I thought we would freeze to death! If you help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew! We can promise to deliver the cargo and ask if anyone would be interested. Or we can take the cargo and drop them off at a nearby station. Hmm. I want reward. But more crew would be nice, especially because we're going to be going up some more trouble soon. So let's do this, I guess. Promise to deliver the cargo and ask if anyone would be interested in joining our crew. 
They upload the delivery destination. One takes us up on our offer, and we drop the rest off at a nearby station. We got Philip, another engineer. Another NG, rather. Just stop calling them engineers. It seems like the obvious short form for what they are, but their name is NG. They're not named engineers. So we'll take Philip. Hopefully, he'll do some good repairs for us. It'll be good to have some more repairs in the time to come, especially in the last stand. Another quest beacon. This place is just covered in them. We jump to this quest beacon. What do they have to offer us? Oh, wow. Find the station that had ordered our cargo. We drop it off and they respond, Ignoring the fact this is days late, we really appreciate that you delivered our materials. We realize how dangerous the sector is these days. I think this is payment. 50 scrap and a boarding drone. Thank you. That was good. We'll go to another quest beacon and see if they're just as generous. Hello, are you just as generous? We escort the ship to the requested beacon, but much to our dismay, we are ambushed. It was a trap. Of course it was! They have a level 1 attack drone, a level 1 defense drone, but we don't have to worry about either of those, really. They've got rockets, some basic lasers. We're gonna ion bomb that out, and we're gonna dodge the rocket. Very good, very good. We missed with that, that's okay. We should be able to plow through their shields with just our 7 laser fire. And we miss like crazy, because we're fools. Oh well, hopefully next time we'll be a little bit more successful. Nope, I should stop firing the basic lasers at the moment, and the burst laser. Wait till those are all charged up, fire them simultaneously, we'll have better success. Ion Bomb does hit the shield this time, good. We're going to burst laser those shields, and we're going to try and basic laser their weapons. There we go, got a hit in. Not quite as effective as I would have liked, but definitely better than nothing. Hopefully this misses. No, it does not. NG, go in there, fix that. In fact, bring Jack with you. That little tiny bonus. Ion Bomb, you are now turning off. Burst Laser, hit the shields, please. That's what we're talking about. This rocket is also going to hit us, isn't it? No, it missed. Very nice. Now their shields are completely offline. We are going to hopefully turn off that rocket, because I don't really want to get hit by that again. Hit them, please. Thank you. They're offline. They offer us two missiles, one drone part, and 29 scrap, but we do not need those. We will not accept that surrender. We are going to kill them with our next burst laser shot anyway. And there's nothing they can do about it. Goodbye. Down they go. Oh, wow, they survived. No, nope, not long enough. Basic laser took them out. Alright, three fuel, two missiles, and 48 scrap. Definitely the better reward. Definitely the better reward. Alright, guys. You took a little bit of... A little bit of damage there, but that's okay. Overall, we're doing pretty darn good. I'm not sure how we'll do against the four uh, shields main ship, but if we can double ion bomb them, that should take the shields out completely, and then we should be able to wreak, wreak some havoc. We've got a store, a distress beacon, and an exit. We got anything to sell. We have two drones, I think. Beam drone and a boarding drone. Yep, we should go sell that stuff. And an extra basic laser. No reason not to. Let's go sell them at the store. Alright, what do you have to offer us? We discover a resupply station used by rebels and civilians alike. We transmit our fake ship identification, and for once, they don't seem to recognize us. Probably because we look like them. We try to assume the air of locals as we prepare to dock. Well, good thing we already look like them, because that makes it a lot easier, I suspect. We can repair here. It's expensive, but we need to repair two damage anyway. We can, uh, we don't need to refuel either, because we're going to be jumping into a place where they give us free fuel. Let's sell our beam drone, sell our boarding drone, and sell our basic laser, since we can't equip any of those things anyway. We don't need any of these, so there's no reason to sell the good things that we've already got. We don't need drone control or teleporter at this stage, although teleporter could be good. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I think what we want is those level 4 shields. That's our priority right now, and I don't know if we know if we have time to get them. We need 20 more scrap just to be able to afford the upgrades, and then we need another 70 for the power. Maybe there'll be something good at this distress beacon. That'll give us another 50. That would be nice. Hello there. Oh, it's a dastardly trap. They say the other distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for pirate ambush. Well, that's okay. We can murder people. We're pretty good at that by now. Oh, no. Ion bomb out the shields first. Don't waste your shots before you know what you're going to hit. We're going to dodge their hull missile in a second with our fantastic stealth system. We have hit the shields. We are now going to pummel the shields with our burst laser mark three. Once that fires, we're going to hit their weapons with our basic lasers and their helm with our basic lasers. And we hit at least two of those targets. <laughs> Better than nothing. All right, turn off the ion bomb again, please. We don't need to be wasting that right now. Burst laser and the other things should be doing the job. Hit them with a burst while their helm is still damaged. There we go. That's some good damage. Now they're going to start hitting us in a second. 
they have taken some good hits, so that's okay. I don't really know what I should be aiming at at the moment, though. Honestly, we're going to get hit by a hull missile in about 5-10 seconds, I suspect. Hopefully we have... No, we're not going to be able to dodge that. Hopefully it doesn't hit anything important. Good, it missed! They offer us some of their cargo if we let them live, giving us 6 fuel, 8 missiles, and 33 scrap. That's pretty darn good stuff, except for the fact that we're not going to need it at this stage, so we're not going to accept their surrender. We're going to go for the kill. Do some damage, do some damage. We should be able to cloak before their next hull missile fires, which would be nice. If they even get to fire it again. They might, oh, no, they even get to fire it again, just before we kill them. Excellent. I think we actually shot the missile out of the air right there. Giving us three fuel, one missile, and 62 scrap. What was I talking about? There's that three scrap. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well. Buying that upgrade, buying another power bar, and powering it up. We have four shields. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. All right. Unfortunately, we do need to let this recharge now before we jump ahead. Really, it'd be silly not to. Is there anything else we should buy? I guess another shield bar to power up the rest of our engines back to 45% dodge. Getting level 3 doors would be good. But apart from that, we are pretty darn well equipped here for this final fight. Pretty darn well equipped. Burst laser mark 3, an ion bomb, two basic lasers. Lots of well-skilled crew. Magni, unfortunately, sucks still at the shields. He's almost almost at the thing where we can get a bonus. Not quite, though. <laughs> oh well. Good enough, I guess. Let's jump to the exit and see what we can do. Alright, here we are. We arrive at the Long Range Beacon, and we get three things! Debris from a frozen battle still orbits the gas giant in this system. Some of it might be usable, giving us three fuel, two missiles, and forty-four scrap. Thank you for your generosity, game. That lets us power the engines up, just like I had hoped. And now, we can jump forwards. But first, let me just check the time. Alright, well, we are getting close to the end of the time, but I'm going to see if we have to stop here or not. So, if we do, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, piloting the VSS Treason all the way across space. Whoa, we've reached right near the end. And next time, we'll get to see if we finally manage to destroy those enemies. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.